feel like the visual mm -hmm. is really important to you yeah. and and that it does do a sort of layering work with mm -hmm. the palm so can you talk to me a little bit about again how does how do you how do you know, for example, something wants to be a grid poem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or have yeah. those parentheses? Or... That's a great question. You know, I don't know until I try it. Mm. And so sometimes you get to a poem that's not working, and then you move it around into different shapes until it, until it feels right. I think I work through intuition sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's probably not a popular thing to say. <laughs> but, like, um, why not? So I think for this particular book, I was definitely in the mode of why not mm. and trying things and saying, well, can I, since people do say that my work is experimental a lot, can I write a bunch of narrative poems and have like some long lyrics? Can I do that? So I was just kind of, and, and also like people say, you know, don't respond to other po poems or poets or whatever. Who are these people? I don't know, like, <laughs> like MFA people, you know, and I'm just like, eh, I think I'm going to do it anyway. So it felt a little bit disobedient in that way and, and in response to maybe constraints that we're, mm -hmm. um, that we hear from outside forces or constraints that we put on ourselves. Mm -hmm or how we perceive the process of making. And I wanted, to, I wanted it to be less precious. I wanted it to allow for some mystery, mm. some mess, even the, the opposite of perfection. And I think that might be openness. And I'm always curious about openness and how mm. that looks.